I'm trying to find like where I can put my big ass head to where this doesn't happen. All right, I'm gonna try to keep my head as still as possible. But hi guys, so today I really wanted to do a video like I know I'm gonna title it something like forcing myself to get out of the house for a day I know some of you guys that continuously watch my content maybe you confused because like girl you always out of the house I am always doing something when I'm filming. There's definitely downtime as well But I just want to do a little more than Target and Starbucks today like not just limit myself to like the places where I am comfortable By myself, you know, I'll sit here and do anything with someone else but I just want to actually like have a day of some new experiences today go out to some areas that I may have been before Not everywhere. I'm going today. I've been before but that just typically make me a little anxious when I'm by myself and still do to this day But that's okay because it's gonna be a great day We're gonna have a lot of fun and I mean technically I'm not by myself because you guys are gonna go with me Yeah, I specifically just planned for today to be a good day and we're just gonna have fun I figured I would skip out on the whole morning routine this morning because y'all probably know it inside and out at this point But you know I woke up, I made my coffee, I fed my cats, had a nice breakfast, vacuumed, I mopped, I showered, I got ready. I just did everything today before I would normally even wake up, which already is an amazing start to my day. But it is 1 p.m. now, so we're not leaving super early or anything, but we are going to go ahead and get this day started. So we're going to go ahead and leave the house, go ahead and head to the first area that I would like to go to, and... Yeah, we'll just go from there. All right, guys. So while we're on the topic of doing things that make us feel good and some self-care, I did want to introduce you to today's video sponsor, which is Honey. So I'm sure you've heard of Honey before, but if you haven't, Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. It's just like a little sidekick, a little icon that stays on your browser once you have it installed. To make it super simple, it basically just automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. I've had it installed on my laptop since the last time that I worked with them, and I I absolutely love it. I have literally saved $66. I've gotten $66 off of a Gymshark order before, simply from Gymshark searching for codes. They weren't having any specific sale, no Black Friday sale, none of that. That was just Honey doing what it does best. My order literally went from $332 to $265. Honey is super easy to download, completely free. There's no catch at all. You guys can simply go to join Honey dot com forward slash aslia to get honey installed on your browser and start saving money with all that being said thank you so much to honey for sponsoring and let's go ahead and get back into the video okay so we're in the area i'm at the design district that is our first stop this is like a very just well visited area in miami i'm having my few last moments of comfort in the car before i'm actually out in public parking is gonna be a bitch though even though it's literally thursday it's 1 30 on a thursday but i can't even put time and dates together here either because there's never there's no telling but yeah I'm just gonna find parking and there's really only one specific store I wanted to go to around here Everything else is just more for the experience because it's a really pretty area to walk around in and explore But until then I'm just gonna be looking for a place to park Oh, yeah, they have parking here. It is a beautiful day though I think It's nearly 80 degrees still They're like so close to All right, close enough. So we're parked. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for parking because they do not play over here. One thing I love about the area I live in now, I don't have to pay for parking at all. Like, I don't even wanna know how much money I spent on parking last year. Even to go to Target, anywhere over here, you have to pay. I still don't know what I'm gonna eat today. I knew I wanted to try somewhere that I've never been to before. I know that much. <laughs> to get the U perfume. Yeah, we have it. Okay. 
Okay. Really? Oh, well, perfect timing then. <laughs> Thank you. Um, not necessarily. I'll probably just look around. Yeah, take a look around. Let me know whenever. And just a reminder, just please use the symbols if you want to try it. Okay. Thank you. could not take a bigger sigh of relief. And I don't mean that in a bad, ungrateful way. All of these things I get to do are privileges. It's just not normally stuff I would do all by myself. These are just areas I prefer to go with somebody else. Proud of myself for that. I even got a whole meal out of it. I was not expecting to eat there, but there's this place I've always seen there. It's called the MIA Market. They just had, it was like another one of those really cool food court things. It was really nice, and they just had different options you could choose from at a coffee shop. But I don't buy my coffee anymore. I make it at home, and that shit. Help. But at Glossier, amazing customer service, I had a great experience. I love that Glossier store. I got the perfume, I got the Glossier U perfume. I've been using this for so long. I've just yet to re-up in quite some time. This is like a go-to everyday scent. It smells beautiful. There's really no way to describe it. It's called Glossier U because it smells different on everyone, but this right here, absolutely love. And then I also, I didn't plan on getting these, but these are called the bath pods. And they look like this. I tried to show you guys in the store, like the sample, but they're like these little gelatin looking things that you basically put in your bath. They dissolve and kind of moisturize the water and just make it smell really good. This right here will probably like, we may need to take a bath tonight. They smell so good. It says dissolve two to three pods into warm running water for a skin softening soak that fills the bathroom with a relaxing orange blossom neroli scent. Yeah, I need to experience that. And then I also did get um, like a bath bomb in bath bar from Lush for my birthday that I've yet to use. So that would be a fantastic combination. So now that I'm done with that, those are like really the main things I wanted to do in this area. There was this thing I wanted to do that I've never done, I've never done anything like it and I've always heard of it and I thought there was only one over here but there actually is one closer to my area as well and it's this place called Candleland where you can basically, I mean, essentially make your own candle so they have so many different beautiful you know like glass containers you can put them in it's a class so you can learn how to make your own candle and then of course you get to take yours home with you when you're done and i just thought that would be such a fun experience so they had a class um they have multiple classes today they had one from like one to three but that one's already you know that one just finished but they also have one at 5 p.m and i think i'm gonna book for the 5 p.m. so that way we have two hours which is good i kind of wanted to get my car clean today but honestly it doesn't really get dirty like that it would more be the outside it does not need it so i can go to the bank because i need to go to the bank um that'll buy me time and then how long is it going to take to get because maybe we can just chill at the house until you yeah, know it's 30 minutes because there's traffic i'd rather be on that side of town yeah all right, gonna go to the bank, do what I need to do there, head back home. If I can stop at the bank on the way home, I'm gonna stop at a bank. That's a place where I can like access my funds while living in Miami because my credit union is not here. And then I opened a bank with like an actual bank, like national bank. So it's just a little more accessible. Not really interesting information, but yeah, that'll give me enough time to do that. And we still have time to go make a candle. I did not know they had one closer to me, so I'm very excited. I always turn off the AC or turn down the AC instead of the volume because I get them mixed up. But um, I don't remember. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so I'm at the bank. Look at these sunglasses that I got off of Amazon. I opened them in my last video. I, this is gonna be, like these are my new favorite shape for sunglasses. Okay, I'm at the bank, y'all don't care. I was saying not too long ago how my car, it has this feature that, you know, is great, you know. It has brake assist, so if I get too close or if the car thinks I'm too close, it's gonna completely stop, music stops, like it just ruins the whole vibe. <laughs> And so you guys were telling me that I could change it and I wasn't even thinking about that, how I can turn it off. So I have it on the settings here. I've never done anything with this. The only settings I've adjusted are my base. Turn that shit all the way up. So go to settings. Okay, cause I was kind of looking through it but I was waiting until I stopped driving. So I could turn off the active brake assist. So this way it's not gonna break for me. And like, I kind of like the feature cause if push comes to shove and I did need it, you know, that's great. But knock on wood, I've never hit another car. This one, I don't mind being on. Open camera cover, what is this? All right, at least that is done. At least we don't have to worry about that anymore. Also look, for anyone that was born around the same time I was, y'all know exactly what this is. If you don't know what this is, I feel so bad for you, genuinely. But I ordered it off of Amazon and I'm obsessed. I literally just brought the stuffed animal with me. I've been sleeping with it like this. I also went on Depop and ordered a couple more. The last time I was here, there was actual human feces on the ground and it's like, Someone has scooped up some of it at least, but I could tell where it was. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of the bank. Now I'm gonna head closer towards my place so I could go to the bank. And then by then, I'll probably just go straight from there to the area, the general area that the candle place is at. Maybe get some boba or something. And then we can just go ahead and go. Let me book it. Why do I, I always, whenever I need to book something, I just stall so much. For today at five. This is gonna be so fun. This tattoo itches like. Wow, so this is actually perfect timing. We're about 30 minutes away from Candleland, which is where I'm gonna be making my candle, and it says I'm gonna get there at 4.56, and the class starts at five. So, wow, could not have made better timing. Okay, so I'm actually dumb as hell, and I, as I was on the way here, so I thought on the way to the place I'm supposed to be going to, it was taking me a very similar route to what we were just taking earlier, because I know the area enough to know this is not all the way to Coral Gables. Um, so I actually put in directions for the one that I didn't want to go to and that I don't have an appointment at, so I really quickly changed the directions, so I actually would have gotten there sooner, because I was way closer to Coral Gables where I was before, but um, it's fine, because I'm still, I'm going to get there at 458 but honestly for me to have been driving the wrong way the complete opposite way and still getting there a couple minutes early that's not bad i'll just have to hopefully find parking in time i mean it's not like that serious i just try to be like considerate of other people's time Alright guys, so I just parked. I just found a parking area that I'm somewhat familiar with because who knows if they'll be parking right in front of the building. I highly doubt it. It has me getting there at exactly five. We have a three minute walk. So let's go ahead and head that way. Anything you want. So go ahead and let the creative juices 
slow. And then once you've done that, I'll show you where you're just gonna stick it at the bottom of your vessel that you chose. So you're gonna grab one and you're gonna just put it through the straw all the way till it just reaches the bottom, just like that. And then once you do that, and then you'll just see that there's a good little go all the way down. It goes all the way. So you rip off the little paper and then you're gonna just stick it onto one of the black dots you see inside of your candle. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other two wicks. If the wicks are a little bit bent or anything like that, don't worry about it at all. They burn exactly the same. It was only one, right? All three. You're going to do all three. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get that little empty beaker that you have. And we're going to get our fragrance. And we're going to fill it up to the third line with your fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the third one. <laughs> and you're going to want to make sure not to go over that because then the ratio becomes a little bit off. So when you burn your candle, all the oil will start to rise to the top. And it also causes your candle to burn faster. Perfect. Okay. So now that you're done with that, she's going to bring out some hot wax and you're going to want to make sure not to touch the sides of those containers because they are, those are pretty hot. And then we are going to take wax because it's a kinetic energy scale. So that's how you power them up and turn them off. And then you're going to hit the tear button and you're going to pour like 11.7 to like 12.1 ounces of wax into your little pitcher there. Mm -hmm. To 12, like to 12.1. Does it matter like which range? Like where? no, okay. No, you'll be fine. Because at the end, anyways, I go around and I make sure that everyone has a good amount of wax in their pan. And don't worry about spilling. This part gets pretty messy usually, so do not worry about that at all. Now we're going to do a little candleland tradition that we have. You're going to take your little beaker that has your fragrance in it and you're going to cheers or raise a glass to whatever you're celebrating today and it can be anything. Don't drink it. <laughs> so what are you celebrating today? It can literally be anything. Um, honestly, well, today I'm just literally spending a day with myself. Yeah! So just, you know. Self care day! Self -care yeah, day. Self -care day. What are you guys celebrating? No, we just water day. I don't make candles and stuff. Learning how to make candles. So cheers to that. And then you're gonna pour it into your wax. And then you're gonna take your gold spoon and you're gonna mix that for like two minutes just to get it all nice and mixed together. Perfect. So now you can smell your spoon if you want. That's what we call a hot throw. And that's going to like give you a sense of what your candle will smell like once it's cooled and everything. <sighs> Thank you. I was trying to hold it in. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to pour a tiny bit more. Um, you get to decorate your candles. So you're gonna see in front of you, there's a tray of flowers. We have rose petals, lavender pet or lavender buds, and marigold petals. And then we also have glitter there, so you're also gonna wanna only do a couple cakes of those as well. Wait, does it stay on the top or do we mix, do we end up mixing it? Um, it just stays on the top. Okay. And then you'll just put it through the two middle holes of the rack. And then you're going to lie flat across your candle. That last bracket. And you're going to put that last little wick through it and you'll just put them right next to each other. Perfect, guys. 
So this last step is the most important one. It's the most detailed one. So we need to make sure to put a lot of attention. You're going to put your hands over your candle. Just like that. Yeah. And you're going to wiggle your fingers and give it all the love, all the manifestations, all the good stuff in your candle. <laughs> and then you're going to take your hands with them right like this. And you're going to give yourself a lot of guys so update i'm back in the car and i don't know if you guys heard her but she said the candle is going to take about 45 minutes to settle and then you can burn it after 24 hours but she said for best results she recommends waiting a week i don't know if i'm gonna wait a week like, that was honestly such a fun experience it wasn't that long i mean it didn't really need to be that long but i have been thinking about doing that for so long and i've yet to go and i'm just so happy I went and was able to experience that. Both of the women there were so nice. And the girl, like one of the girls, whenever we were done, she had offered to like take pictures of me, like anywhere in the building, I guess, because she saw me filming with the camera and figured I wanted pictures. And she was so sweet. I was so thankful. I said, thank you, but like, I don't really take pictures like that. Like I was more recording the experience than myself, you know what I mean? I mean, I was in the footage, but you know what I mean? Like I wanted y'all to see the candle, but that was so nice. But until then, I didn't really want to sit in there and wait. So I think I am going to go ahead and treat myself to some boba because that's in this same area. Damn, this tattoo parlor is open till 11 p.m. Yeah, Um. also another thing that I wanted to do today was get a new piercing. I promise I'm okay. Y'all probably like... Damn, tattoos in one video, piercing in the next. Well, maybe the getting the new tattoos did start something, but I've been thinking about getting my Medusa pierce. I'd say for the last couple of months, ever since I got this one, I've been able to see how I actually like how certain face piercings look on my face. I wouldn't, there's certain ones I definitely wouldn't get, but the Medusa is the piercing that goes right here. I feel like it's so pretty. And, um,. Yeah, I just officially decided yesterday I'm gonna go today. So I found this tattoo parlor that has last time I checked this tattoo parlor. Why is it saying now they have 3.5 stars? Because I swear when I looked it up last night they had like 4.9 or 4.8 with like 2,000 plus reviews. Because now at this point I'm not driving over there. There was another one I was looking at. I swear they had let me look it up on Google. Or whatever yeah on Google they have 4.9 so maybe more people have reviewed them on Google than Yelp because on maps they show reviews from Yelp <laughs> okay someone left a bad review and they said beware they charge 110 for a consultation then when you get to the appointment the artist isn't even there Alex the Pearson guy asked what tattoo you want he says $200 for a small one won't refunded consultation fee crooks and then the owner responded first of all you had an appointment and we only do appointments with a non-refundable deposit if you wanted a consultation it's free and you decided for an appointment first lie second of all you got here at 2 30 p.m and the appointment not a consultation was at 3 30 p.m second lie third of all i offered a lower price than 200 but you decided not to do it because your friend wanted us to work for free and do like four tattoos for half off third lie this is not walmart this is art you are paying for an individual experience and technique the 110 or $50 for you and $50 for your friend that is funny as hell even for a piercing I'm very like hello I don't want like I'm sick. that's a hole through my face so this one just looks scarier so I'm not going there I'm just gonna go to the one I just showed you. oh my gosh like the idea of going makes my stomach shake like now I have to take a shit If I had the corn tripod, I could actually have my camera at like a different. It's okay. It literally, honestly, it doesn't make much of a difference. I did order another one though. But, okay, so I went to the same boba place that I've really been liking recently. This is just my favorite go to. In my area, I have one where I like, where I used to live, and I found this. Why did I do that? Anyways, so I wanted to try something different because I typically get the same thing every time I go. And. 
today's about trying some new things. Yeah, I got a green apple slushy. First of all, I've never had a slushy with boba, but this sounded very interesting and the guy said it was good, so. Y'all heard that? That was a, my tongue ring ball. This shit is fantastic. It's that radioactive green, so you know it's gonna be good. This is very good, like, it tastes like green apple, but it's not too sweet. I don't know why I shook them though. The best part is a boba ball with every bite. Um, it's probably about that time I go and get my candle. I've really just been taking my time, knowing that by the time I get there, my candle should be done, or I should not have to wait long at all. That right there is good. I just met the sweetest person ever. Well, I was walking out of the candle place and we had made eye contact. I could just like feel her looking at me so I just locked eyes with her so she could see like I see you. Not in like a negative way, but just, I feel like whenever I'm in public by myself, I normally look mean. So I was just trying to make myself look more inviting basically. But she had stopped me and just said hey and that she loves my videos and that she loves me. She was just so nice. She thought I would think that she was like creepy or I don't know something like that like how she had thought about DMing me on Instagram to like hang out or but she didn't want to be weird I was like girl <laughs> so we'll probably be making plans but she was so nice and that genuinely made my night but this is my candle I want to be careful with it because like it's solidified but I can feel that it's still warm and I see why they say wait 24 hours my place is cold as hell so it'll probably it'll definitely solidify in my apartment but this smells so good but i am very hungry i have food at home i went to trader joe's yesterday and got these amazing frozen indian meals that are like fantastic so that's what we're gonna oh wait well i think i'm gonna go home and eat that first i feel like i should do that and then get the nah because once i'm home i love home i'm gonna want to stay home i was just thinking i should eat so i don't pass out during my appointment but i have a protein bar i got protein little cheese crackers in here we will be Good to go oh my gosh she put her wrong number i'm gonna go back and make sure i get the right number because i don't want her to think that i um literally just said fuck you and i'm not texting you because i was being so dead ass. okay one second okay now i'm the creepy one but um yeah I literally went to text it and I was like, literally oh my god, making fun of her. She she literally, really I literally realized after I was like, oh my god, Rana, I literally went like, I was like, six, literally was making fun of her. Really? It's like, like you have an iPhone, but I it's know. green. So like, I, listen, like, I was literally like, Rana, like, she's literally gonna be like, what the fuck? And then I was like, I'm really not like, like, kiss ass or anything. And then I was like, oh fuck. And I saw it too. And then I was like, Rana, I realized it was green when I wrote it. it Why like, didn't I never like, gonna come back yeah. she's not gonna give you back. I was like, maybe she could DM me, but I don't want her to think that like I wasn't actually gonna reach out. No, I literally so, said you know, that. Crazy. I was like, the person who you texted is gonna be like, who the fuck are you? Or she's no, it's like, her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always happening. You okay. are so lucky. Oh my God, the fact that you came back. I was literally like, do you think it's gonna be weird if you try just DM her and be like, hey, I gave you the wrong no, number? No, it's like, okay. Oh my God, thank you uh, for Of course. Yeah, okay, I didn't put your phone in my backpack. That is amazing. Okay. okay. Good to know. Well, connect. Okay. Connect. Sounds good. good. Bye. Yeah. Of course. Bye. Okay. Now we're good. <laughs> that is crazy. I was like, there is no way. I know she gave me the wrong number. Today has been such a good day. Like, I told myself I was going to have a good day, and I've had a great day. <laughs> I'm so ready, I'm so in a benzo, show me fast flow. Got a Spanish bitch on me like a pancho. I want a rich hoe. Okay, so I just got here. I'm nervous as hell. I'm definitely gonna have to pee. It says they're open, they look closed. I mean they have the lights on, like the signs, 
But then Aaron, all these places look closed, so maybe the windows are just tinted. I'm just thinking of any reason to not go inside right now. And it's not because I don't want the piercing, but obviously, like, watch me get all hyped up and then they can't even do it or, like, the piercers in there or something. I do this to myself. Oh, now this battery's about to die, too. Actually, I think I have one more. I think this one is good. Absolutely not. <laughs> Y'all see I had a um, piercing, right? Um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I did not trust him to pierce my face. It was like one guy in there. It was super quiet. I don't know if like Mans was just a very mellow, but it seemed like he was under the influence of something. I don't know if it was high as hell, drunk. I don't know. Like there was literally liquor on um, one of the desks, like you see it when you walk in i mean i'm looking at the site and i see that he has done some good work but i don't know i just listened to my gut i wasn't feeling it i didn't feel confident like i asked i said i wanted the medusa and he was like he had to ask me which one that was he was like that's like this one right and i mean i guess you don't need to know all of them off the top of your head but nah that was enough for me to be like <laughs> I'm gonna reach back out to the guy that just did my tattoos because I had been pierced by someone at like his previous shop before that did a great job. Maybe he still pierces and I can go with him because hell no. Nah. I'm sure they're great. They have good reviews. I don't know. I'm like very sensitive to that. And I didn't just say fuck you, I'm not getting anything done. But first he brought over this long ass bar that was gonna be in my lip and I was like Wait, how would this even work? Because I know it has to be bigger for it to swell and it's not a piercing I'm familiar with, but it was long. I'm like, how is that? Is that not going to hit my teeth? Like, it was long. And he was like, oh, well, we have like a slightly, we have like a shorter one. And I'm like, okay, the fact that you like gave me one and then you have an alternative already kind of like turned me off because typically with a piercing, there's one standard piece of jewelry you can use unless like it's a nose piercing you can maybe choose the color of the gem or something but typically for piercings besides that you don't really get to pick especially for okay were you going there was no turn signal thing i don't know you anyway yeah so he gave me two different options so that made me feel like that didn't make me feel secure because you're supposed to tell me which is the best one i'll wait i will wait it is never i'm not rushing to get a needle through my face by just anybody so no shade and i'm just i'm sure they're great but i will take my business elsewhere i already like signed the paper but whatever. especially because i'm already nervous i want to at least feel confident in the fact that like it's not going to be a hell of an experience it is Alright guys, so I'm home. Could not be happier to be back. I'm so happy that I also cleaned this morning. And my place is still surprisingly holding up um, with so many kids, you know. The floor is normally take a couple days to like, yeah. But, I'm gonna feed my babies. And then, I'm gonna take a bath because I deserve it. And I, have I taken one of that bathtub since I moved here? No, that's a problem. I'm not waiting six months to take a bath in my bathtub and also i want to use the new little bath things i got from glossier today and also my lush products that i've just been neglecting that i wanted to use i just haven't really like taken time out of my day to use them and then i'm also going to do a hot oil treatment in my hair because we are prioritizing hair care does that mean I'm gonna give up a slick bun? No. But in between, I will, you know. I've been doing more hot oil treatments and I haven't really done any other treatments because there's like protein. I can do like the Aztec clay mask. I don't really feel like my hair needs much like clarifying right now, just like moisturization because my hair gets dry so fast. Um. <coughs> there's another one. Oh yeah, like the rice water. I didn't do that once when I was trying to grow my hair out, but yeah, I could do that too. You just have to be ready to do that shit quick once you let it sit. Because the moment you start putting it back, like, oh, I'll do it the next day, I'll do it the next day. That's when that shit stinks, and then you want to throw away the whole container because it smells so bad. Damn. <laughs> the squeak, did you hear the squeak? Okay, so I was actually thinking about it, like, 
like, okay, I'm over here. Sometimes you just think, think about doing things or plan on doing things without considering like every aspect. I wasn't thinking about how I just got tattoos like, less than a week ago. And it just came to mind like, oh yeah, bath. My tattoo is literally still itching. This rib tattoo has been itching me all day. I've just been patting it a little bit. I haven't been itching it. But yeah, basically I just looked it up and it says you shouldn't really take baths, go in pools or submerge yourself in water for longer periods of time. For um, Like you should wait two weeks at least before doing so. So I'm going to listen to that because I take pride in my aftercare of body modifications and i mean that makes complete sense and considering it hasn't even been a week that's probably a terrible idea so at least my shower is clean i'm just gonna um instead of a bath i'll just shower these trader joe's meals are so good i haven't tried this one yet but i've had one similar and it was really good i haven't tried that one yet but this right here like i kind of want this one just because i know it's fire and also it looks like more food because it's a bigger box and i'm hungry but i could always eat more than one i mean i'm gonna end up eating it if i want this one i'm gonna eat this one <laughs> This butter chicken, oh my gosh. I could eat this every single day for a very long time. You have to put this in the microwave for seven minutes. Also, I was being chased in my dreams pretty much the whole time I was asleep. One of them was some man with a knife. And then the one after that was like some security mall cop lady. That was just mad for no reason. Or like, no, actually I gave her an attitude and I guess that was enough for her to literally follow me. Um, outside of the mall, out of the parking garage, I ran into like some random restaurant and I was like, can I like hide behind the counter? And they were like, yeah. And that's when I told them what was going on. I had a dream not long ago that was like so intense. Um, the moment I woke up, I sent voice memos about it because I didn't want to forget about it. And it's like four minutes long so i'm not gonna like play that or anything but it was so intense and i basically it was like me i think my siblings and like other people i don't know but we were locked in this house we were being held captive in this house by it was like texas chainsaw like that was the dude in my dream maybe not exactly but like it was him and he literally wanted to kill us and we were in fight or flight every single waking hour of the day hiding escaping different areas making sure we didn't die it was like so intense i remember like escaping and he was chasing me and i had ran to this house hey stop what i thought was an empty house in the neighborhood it's itching it looks so good though because the like dark red scabby looking skin fell off oh is it itchy anyways why does this remind me of like that nav that one nav? Ooh, why is it i would think it'd be itchy like before everything peeled off yeah i made my way into this house oh damn that I thought was empty, but I get in and there's like a realtor in there. Since I was already inside the house, I basically just try to play it off. Like I was interested in a house. They're asking me like how many bedrooms, stuff like that. I was just trying to play it off. And then we had like made our way to the back of the house somehow. And I guess her husband was there. And the girl had like, I guess she had ended up asking me if like i did youtube and i was like yeah and so i think we had ended up like taking a picture or something and the moment we took the picture the creepy chainsaw dude literally came from around the house and killed them and i've seen a lot of crazy shit so like i actually watched people like i watched them die in my dream they died i'm fighting for my life i didn't know these people so i kept it i kept running it was like around this time where i had figured out that i was in a game i wasn't in a game it was real life but he was being controlled by a game on my phone so basically i finally found out how to pause the game and once i paused the game he had like started slowing down chasing me basically instead of running he started walking slow as if he was in a game like this but like no matter where i turned like he would follow me and be able to walk but he couldn't run and that was all he could do but i was finally able to like shut it off because even that of course was making me extremely anxious and i don't remember like i think i woke up around that time but i think that was like the whole time my mind was just trying to wake up like escape that dream because that shit was terrifying am i still gonna watch scary movies and true crime yes we didn't save her she saved herself in the small town of Lugo, November 6, 2006, 4.30 p.m., daughter Elizabeth didn't call her after school, even walking with her up the road. She was really happy.